Hi, Jason here from Chosen DTG Karate and the Art of Ninja Jitsu, and I have another katana video for you today. Now, I recently received a DVD from Anshua Krista Jacobson from the Budo Ru Ninjutsu. If you do not subscribe to Budo Ru Ninjutsu on YouTube, go ahead and find her page and subscribe to her. You can also go to budoruninjutsu.com. She has a lot of training videos and hosts seminars and has classes and all kinds of information on real ninpo and ninjutsu arts. And uh, I've been doing a lot of katana videos. And uh, when I was on the Bujin Khan, I was fourth Q, which means in class I used a Vulcan. Only after Don Ranks do you use a real sword. So I didn't learn the drawing principles as well as I'd liked. And I've been doing them somewhat wrong, even though I do have some of the basics of sword work okay. I've learned some things from this new video I received from her, so if you like what you're going to see here, it would take me 30 videos to tell what she does in one of her videos. I highly recommend you go to her uh, website and check it out, budoruninjutsu.com, and uh, you can learn a lot about the Japanese sword and many other things. But today I'm going to make a basic video just talking about the basics of drawing and putting the sword away, and I'm going to show you some of the mistakes I've been making and I'm going to show you what I learned from her video from just watching it a few times. So I do recommend you go check out her website. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. Now when you wear your sword with the blade up, you got it tied in your OB here. Now, when I draw the sword, I used to use my leg. You can turn the hips to draw your sword, but it's nice to step forward with the right leg or step back with the rear leg. And I was pretty much keeping my hand stationary on my saya, which is the case and using my leg to draw the sword and flicking it out. I'll show you that one more time. So I was lowering myself, sinking, and just stepping back and moving the blade like this. Now what I've learned from Anshu's video is when I sink and I bring my hand up underneath, I actually should pull the saya out as I step back to here and then instead of pulling my sword out of the case, you're actually pulling the case off the sword. So that's a main principle I was doing wrong, and I've learned that in her video. The same as when I put it away, I used to just put it away like this. Now I've learned that when you put it away, as soon as the tip drops in, you actually bring them together and meet, and you're putting the case on the sword. Then as you step, you slide it back. So, in my previous videos, I've been doing it wrong, I'm sorry, but I've learned that from her. So, your sink, bring your hand under, step back, and bring the saya out just a little bit. Then, you, as you slide your left leg back the rest of the way, you pull your case off the sword. I'll show you a close-up view of that and explain why you do this from a little closer. Now, when I sink and bring my hand underneath and step back just a little bit with that leg, and I bring the saya out, as I slide the left leg back the rest of the way, I'm actually pulling the saya back into my obi and making sure not to rub the blade on the inside. So when I put it away, instead of putting it in and then just pushing it in, I actually bring them together, making sure the blade is not rubbing the inside of the case, then bring it back. a drill that I learned at the beginning of her video. I'm not sure if I'm doing it totally right, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to be practicing every time I use the sword to try to just get better at it. So showing you the concept of drawing and putting it away, which I just showed you. Now what you're going to do is the same techniques there, but when you draw the sword out, you're bringing it horizontally in front of you, and it's called nutsuke. So you're going to sink the same, Pull the saya out as you bring your foot to here, and as you slide it back the rest of the way and bring your saya back, you're cutting horizontally in front of you, and the tip of the blade should be pointing forward. Your sword should be level, not up and down like this. Straight in front of you. That's called nutsuke. Bring it down to Sagan no Kamai, which I show you in my sword Kamai video. And from here, you're going to do what's called chiburi. It's a blood flip, where as I bring the sword over, to the right side of me, I actually pop the end of the suka on my forearm, and the tip should still be forward, and then you're going to put it away, noto. 
So as the tip comes in, you bring the side and the suba together, step forward. I'll show you that from a side angle. one more time before I just demonstrate it a few times without talking and I have a long way to go before I get it totally right but I'm, this is something I'm working on. So from your relaxed natural she's in position as you squat down and step the leg back and come up underneath and you pull your saya out as you draw the sword and your leg goes back the rest of the way it's horizontal with your point sticking directly in front of you you come to Sagan no Kamai Shaburi, the blood flip, you put it away, no toe. The tip comes in, you bring them together, not rubbing the blade against the wood, step together, and bow.